mastering ISF amendments and corrections. Welcome to our video on ISF amendments and corrections process. In today's episode, we will dive deep into the procedures involved in making amendments and corrections to an importer security filing ISF. So, if you're looking to understand how to rectify errors or update information on your ISF, you're in the right place. Let's get started. Before we delve into the amendments and corrections process, let's quickly recap the importance of the importer security filing ISF. The ISF is a requirement enforced by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for all shipments entering the United States by ocean. It helps CBP to assess potential security risks associated with imported goods early on in the supply chain. By submitting the ISF, importers provide vital information about the cargo, its origin, and parties involved in the transaction ensuring a smoother and more secure import process. Now, let's discuss some common scenarios that may necessitate amendments or corrections to the ISF. Sometimes, errors occur during the initial filing due to typos, missing information, or changes in the shipment details. For example, the consignee's address may have changed, or the cargo's quantity might have been inaccurately reported. It's crucial to rectify these errors promptly to avoid potential penalties and delays in the clearance process. To initiate the amendments or corrections to your ISF, you will need to work with a licensed customs broker or a qualified customs service provider. They possess the expertise and knowledge to navigate the complex customs regulations and guide you through the process. Working with professionals ensures that your amendments are compliant and accurately reflect the changes in your shipment. It's important to understand the difference between an amendment and a correction. Amendments are made when changes need to be made to existing filed information. For instance, if the ISF listed a wrong port of unlading, you will need to submit an amendment to update it. On the other hand, corrections are required when elements of the ISF need to be added or omitted altogether. For example, if the ISF originally omitted the cargo's weight, you need to submit a correction to include that information. To submit amendments or corrections, you would typically work with your customs broker to compile the necessary documents and information. This may include a revised ISF form relevant commercial documentation, and any other supporting documents required by CBP. Once everything is prepared, your customs broker will electronically file the amended or corrected ISF on your behalf. It's crucial to ensure that all changes are accurately reflected, as any inaccuracies can lead to potential penalties or delays. Timeliness is of utmost importance when it comes to submitting amendments or corrections to your ISF. It's recommended to file any necessary changes as soon as they are identified. While CBP allows amendments or corrections up to 24 hours before the vessel's arrival at the first U.S. port, it's recommended to complete the process well in advance to account for any potential delays. Failure to comply with the ISF requirements or submitting inaccurate or incomplete information may lead to penalties imposed by CBP. These penalties can range from monetary fines to cargo holds, extended examinations, or even shipment refusal. Therefore, it is crucial to ensure that your ISF is accurate and complete, and any necessary amendments or corrections are made promptly. That brings us to the end of our video on ISF amendments and corrections process. We hope this episode provided you with a clear understanding of why amendments and corrections may be necessary, the process involved, and the importance of timely compliance. Remember to work closely with your licensed customs broker or customs service provider for efficient and accurate ISF filing. Video disclaimer below. Thank you for watching.
And be sure to stay tuned for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade.